everybody welcome back what is going on it is a beautiful beautiful day out here along the texas coast i'm hitting galveston i'm gonna go out with a couple of friends of mine you know a guy that you haven't seen on the channel in a while captain cody dunn is gonna be in the house Along with our friend Mike, we're going to be jumping on Mike's boat, and we're going to head out to the jetties. We're going to do a little sheephead fishing. I love catching sheephead. I'm telling you, sheephead is a great fish, and I don't eat fish a lot, but I love sheephead. Sheephead, sheephead on the half shell is, oh my God, it's so good. Sheephead tacos, love them. All right, so we're going to be stopping and getting some live shrimp. The other day, you know, stopped by the Yacht Basin, and they had some really, really good size shrimp. So hopefully we're going to have some really big shrimp, um, you know, for the trouts. And then, you know, the sheep heads, we might rip them in half or even quarters or thirds. Um, you know, just their feet are so aggressive, so you really don't really necessarily need live, although, you know, it does help. And then we might get some crab. We might go after, you know, a couple of big uglies and uh, maybe a couple bull reds. You know, the, the weather is is superb. The winds calm down. So when we get out there, it might be a little rough. But as the day goes on, the swells are going to die more and more. And uh, hopefully see some clean green water. I'm really hoping that that green water comes in. So we'll see. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. And... Uh, Wish us luck, man. It's gonna, I feel it. I feel this weekend. I feel this trip. I really do. Wouldn't get them. And I'm glad you came along for the ride. What up, Snoop Dogg? Hello? 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 Is this Gonna Captain, is this Captain Cold Cooter? Yeah, yeah, cold cooter. This is the cold cooter. Yeah, we got some surfers out here. We got like a handful yeah, we, of surfers. You can see that clean water line? It's probably about 300 yards out still. Yeah, still the same. Huh? Yeah, so it's not. Damn, there's a festival or something going on down here. A lot what of people it? outside. A lot of people outside. Yeah. Maybe they have like a uh, mark market day or whatever on Saturday. Yeah. Well, it's still spring break for a lot of oh, people. Oh, I guess that's true. This week. That explains yeah. why a lot of cars out here. Yeah, spring not everybody breakers. goes on spring break the same week. When's, Man, you, when's your day, spring I mean, break? Well, there's a little wrinkle in the day, right? I mean, there's always a wrinkle in everything you do. So a little wrinkle of the day, all of Galveston is out of bait. Uh, we didn't even think about it. And, and you know, as, as experienced as a captain as Cody is and experienced as an angler as myself is and Mike, you know, we just didn't think about it. And you know, and during this time of the year, people want a lot of live shrimp. People want live shrimp. And uh, we just missed like Aunt Margie. So like their last five quarts right before we call them Smitty's out, Bayou Bait and Tackle. Uh, the Yacht Basin is out. Luckily, my friends from Bait Daddies, Bait Daddies is, uh, uh, still has some sh live shrimp, so I'm headed over there. I'm getting the live shrimp. Cody's headed to another bait shop to get some dead shrimp and some crap. Uh, dead shrimp works great for black drum, so we're gonna and, and so does crab. Works great for black drum and also like reds, bull reds, just drums and perp and and uh, and, uh, and plural um, all together. So. He's stopping to go get that. I'm running over to get this. Mike's getting the boat ready. So yeah, this is adding like an extra hour to be able to get out to the water. I was the bait guy. I was in charge of calling the bait shop and getting something to hold for us. And I passed another bait shop on the way up here. I could have went to Texas City. I could have done all kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, your boy Ruben fell. <laughs> So I was in charge of bait, so here I am going to West City to get bait. But check out Bait Daddies if you're not familiar with them. You know, they're the last of the Mohegans when it comes to bait today. So, but if you're not familiar with them, check them out there on the West End. Well, the seawall was a little packed, but we made it. We made it. About 10.30, we wanted to leave here about... 9 30 so we're only about an hour behind but you can see nice big shrimp thank you bait daddies 
Bait Butler. Nice big shrimp. There's Captain Cody. Cody! Captain Cody just got the bait bucket. I'm gonna roll. Now we're rolling. Where you been, man? I've been waiting on you for two hours. Well, you know, I took a little detour route. I, I didn't know I was in charge of bait today. <laughs> yeah, that kind of got thrown on you, didn't you? No, I knew I was in charge of bait. I just oh, thought. Uh, hey, I told you you were in charge. I just of thought bait. it would be not. I like that hat. I like that hat. What hat is it? The hat you're wearing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's a little foamy one. Oh, don't you throw you out. What the? Oh, you you some fucking you, we ain't even started fishing yet. Yeah. Your shirt's dirty. Your shorts are ripped. I've been working. <laughs> You've been working. <laughs> I'm getting what, up. We've, uh, Mike's got like 17 poles, and I've got 12, I think. I, I'm going to go get another one out of my uh, truck real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Did you remember your Snoopy pose? Yes. I forgot mine. I got two. I forgot mine. Hey, I forgot. Hey. We're going to the close rigs. We're not going to the jetties. Hey. I'm, oh, we're going to close we're going rigs. To today. We're going to close rigs? Yeah. I think so. All right. So that's. Maybe all right. too. Uh-oh. We got to change things up. All right. So I guess we're going to close rigs and not the jetties because Cody's just changing everything up. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do a little change up so the weather's right. And I think we're going to go to the close rigs and try to catch a, maybe some jacks. What's that behind? Lot, lots of sheep's head. What's that behind my ear? Oh yeah! But hey, 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 hey. Match. I like it. Good, good I'm thinking. ready. Um, last but time we caught a see. nice mangrove snapper at the mango close rig. Mm, yeah, it's about seven pounds. Jacks. I never jacks, caught a jacks. Jacks. Uh, I've only caught one mango and, snapper. And Ling are in close right now too. So Ling, Ling come in early. They they've caught two, I think, off the pass and one at the uh, fishing pier. Yeah. So we got a chance to catch a Ling even too. Yes. Maybe triple tail. Yes. Who knows? Yes. Have you? Did you ever catch a triple tail? Caught seven last year? last year in one trip. Damn it. With Mike, that so, last trip with the we caught ten miles. You caught, caught seven, so that means you're I up caught, by you're up by eight. He caught two, so that means you're up by eight. Are you up by six? Yeah. <laughs> if you caught five, you're up by six. Yeah. All right, let's go. All right. I have shrimp. Right, right up. By the power invested in me, Excellent. we have live bait. Eight plus. You got you. With a bumpy ride and a little bit of swells the swells were just a little funky a little too funky for me i started feeling sick even with the patch i was very surprised yeah <laughs> Yucko! About Mike? Oh, yeah. Got him? Oh, 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 yeah, maybe. Mike's on. Oh, that's, you might not get him out. I'm going forward on that. I'm going forward, Mike. Okay. That's probably a big snapper. Let's see. Come on. Oh. Yep. Looks like. Oh, no, did it? Got off. Oh, shit. That's a big fish. That was a nice fish. Yeah, it's like a bump bump like you said. Yeah, right. That might be a fish. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's there. Rick got him. Get him, bro. Get him, bro. Little guy. Yeah. You got to double up. Come on, Mike. I came all the way out here to catch a catfish. Dang it. For the 
For the, for the picture, I caught that one. <laughs> no, you didn't. Which one did I catch? <laughs> Dang it. Came all the way out here to catch a hard head. Thanks a lot for not laughing at me, Cody. Now I am fishing with the getter done rig. The idea is to let the line drop to about 50 feet of water, 56 feet of water. You got to let the line drop all the way down. We have a current that is ripping through the area. So it's kind of hard to tell when your line hits the ground and it's kind of hard. The angle is kind of funky too, but you got to let the line and let your weight, heavier weight fall all the way to the bottom so you can pick the fish off. There we go. is your PB, ain't it? There we go. That's a slide. Oh, big. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> yeah. I've been better. <laughs> How big was it? 18. Yeah, nice. So we asked bigger. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. You're just still going everywhere, aren't you? Yeah, it's driving. Yeah, yeah it's you're going. crazy. Lots of focus. We fished a little bit more before we decided to head in. The guys even threw some lures and jigged a little bit, but myself, Mike, we weren't feeling that great. Captain Cody even mentioned that he wasn't feeling that good either, but we weren't done yet. On the way back in, we hit the jetties. We knew that the sheephead were running thick and we wanted some of that action. 